We are joined here today with Swag. Welcome to the Ford Gaming Van. What, what, what do you think about... This is cool, bro. Yeah. Honestly, man. A little kickback vibes. You know, it reminds me of like a little 70s. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. 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 hanging in a van in the 70s. So this is cool. Thank you for having me. Would you ever live in a gaming van like this? Live in one? Yeah, like yeah. travel around the country, Whoa. live in it, stream out of it. It's got a streaming setup and everything. I've seen like those TikToks where people like live out of their like vans yeah, and stuff RV, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I do it for like a couple weeks or something like okay. that. Just see it. Hey, what if the stream started like popping off though? Like, like they just like love they the like content. The, yeah. yeah. Traveling like state to state. Wow. Yeah, like, for sure. That'd be a fire. Having yeah. fan meetups and stuff. Yeah, be, yeah for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but like, you gotta worry about sleeping at night yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when they see the van, they go, oh, that's him, that's him. Boom, boom, boom. Start knocking on it while you're trying to sleep. I'm just a streamer guy. I'm just guy, yeah, chill, chill. Bear trying to get in and stuff like that. So, if you can uh, go anywhere like in the world streaming in this van, like where would you go? What would be your top places? Man, um, the world is crazy. I can't, world, I yeah. obviously can't cross the water. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, you put it on a boat? You drive it on a boat, go yeah. to Europe. I think I would go down to like Brazil or something. Ooh, just go down south, like just drive all the way down through south. Sure. Yeah, yeah, nah, it'd be cool though. It'd be cool. It'd be a good vibe. You've been there before? Nah, but I've been to Colombia. Columbia. Yeah, I like Colombia. How come not? Was it Medellin? Is that on the go, like, what, like to go to Brazil? Yeah. yeah, for sure. Of course. Yeah. The statue, I think. What is it? The statue. Just, uh, the Chrysler Redeemer, Redeemer. Yeah. In Rio. Yeah. yeah. If, if, if oh, anyone yeah. has seen like like Fast and Furious movies, that's like the spot. Yeah. You know what I mean? World Cup, everything. There's so much culture down everything, there. Everything, man. Oh, like, speaking of traveling, like, because I know, like, obviously you travel a lot for work, for content, anything. Yep. Like, what was the best place that you've ever traveled to in, in just. You're honest with me. Mm, Italy, bro. I think Italy is my favorite spot that I've ever traveled to. Uh, I went to Rome one time, and then I wow. went to uh, Amalfi Coast, like Positano. The, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like the city, like on the like the coast, is like that's beautiful, bro. Man, everyone says Italy. Like I, I feel like everyone says, that. and then like it's rightfully so. It's just so you just can't beat it, man. It's like uh, you have the culture because like when you travel, you want to feel like you're in a whole different world, yeah. right? You don't want to travel somewhere and it feels like you're you're in yeah. LA again. Yeah. So like when you go to Italy. You have a complete culture shock. The food is so different, but it's so good. People are so different, but it's just like a vibe. Wow. Where, where are you from? Phoenix. Phoenix. Okay. And you're living in LA now, right? I live in LA. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yep. How you like LA? I love it, man. A lot of people, you know, like the stigma of like hating LA, but yeah. I'm a cat. I'm an LA boy. Like I was born in LA and I I'm, I was raised in Phoenix, but mm. um, I went back and forth a lot. But I love LA, man. I just love like, I don't know. I can't describe it. And you got a good crew around you. And I feel like that's such a big thing. Like you got to make it work. If you got the right people around you in Los yeah. Angeles, it can be like the most fun place ever. 100%. Bro. A lot I mean, of people miss that. And yeah. Cause here. if you think about it, like you can have like, no matter where you're at in the world, like if you have bad people around you, bad influences, it's going to be, you know, you're not yeah. going to really progress and, you know, get into things you shouldn't be. But if you have yeah. good people around you in any environment, like you'll always thrive. Obviously I have like your roommates and everyone, but who do you think like inspires you to, to get in Sorry, like a yeah. better mindset? Like someone that like every day you're like, I either want to be not like certainly like them, but like they just make you a better you. I think, uh, I think my pops, man, I think my dad, like I always look to my family, you know, they were very hardworking, um, you know, growing up and stuff like that. You know, my dad worked two jobs when I was in high school. So I got to, I didn't get to see him that much. So like for him, it makes me like, Yo, if he was working two jobs like that, like I can't be wasting a day. So I feel bad like when I'm not working or I'm not trying to be better. To drive. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. I feel like that's a lot of things. Like with parents, like not, like yeah. in general, like because not me. You, you see like, it firsthand. Like, yeah, you live yeah. with it. You grow up with it, and it just it lights a fire inside of you. Hundred percent. So kind of going off of that, like we know we've known you obviously for a little bit. Like we kind of know your a background. Lot of <laughs> yeah, a lot of it. But like, tell us what the like coming up grind was like. Like what made you hop into content? Yeah. Um, I think it was just more so, um, like I, I when I started playing video games. What year? I, uh, I was a, I was like a junior in high school, so probably like 2011. And mm. what, and what game? It was so I, I didn't have, I didn't have a console like that. And I went mm. to my friend's crib, and he had Modern Warfare Three, and I remember, I remember just uh, seeing it, and it was cut. just, I was like, whoa, this looks so cool. And yeah. then, but they were playing really serious. They were playing game battles, so I was oh. like, oh, like I, I ain't doing all that. <laughs> I ain't doing all that. But like seeing that and how like the way Call of Duty was, I started playing like campaign over our friends' cribs here and there and stuff like that. Yeah. And I was like, I got to get a console. So that's when I started doing that. And then just to kind of sum it up, you know, I just wanted to be, I got so good. I was better than all my friends. So I was like, man, I wonder like yeah. how good are What's people, the next step? Who, who was out there? Like who's, how good are people actually? Yeah. yeah. And I started seeing gameplays of like, well, I'm kind of getting like similar stuff. So let me start posting. And then from there, it just kind of just well, evolved. You said console. What was the first console that you got? Xbox 360, bro. Best yeah. console? So you're saying For Modern sure. Warfare 3 is your first COD. First COD, yeah. First COD? First Call That's of Duty. late. First no. Call of Duty. And you're as nasty Black as you Ops 2 are. over here. Yeah, Black I mean, you're, not, you're not swag. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
MW3, man, it was uh, a lot of people talk about MW2. I never really disrespect it because I didn't get to really play it like that. And yeah. obviously, when you play something in its prime, it's completely different yeah. than going back to it. So, okay, so obviously your answer is skewed, but like, what is the greatest COD of all time? Ooh, greatest COD of all time. I think you really missed the prime, in my opinion. But what's your personal? What is your, yours on I mean, it was like Black Ops Two, Modern Warfare Two. Like you kind of missed those primes. Though. Yeah, I can't really, I can't. So I can't really speak on those because I wasn't really. Um, even Modern Warfare Three, I wasn't really in the community. I was just playing like. Yeah. At friends' houses and stuff like that. I think for me, what I've experienced so far, especially when I'm making content, was Black Ops Three. Black Ops Three was so yeah. good choice. Black Ops Three was such a unique COD because it was so different, but it was, it, it like it was the first time where it tapped into like the younger generation. Yeah. yeah, and what I mean by that is like younger kids who are like excited to like make plays or like yeah. it makes them want to like hop on and like and like play. You know what I mean? It's kind of like what Fortnite did when it came out with mm. like the building. It just like built a different community. Multiplayer and, was so fun. Yeah, it was oh like it, it genuinely well, wanted, like it almost made you grind for the camo. Hundred like, percent. Hey, back to Black Ops Three. Do you think it got a lot of love like later on? Like people weren't really enjoying it in the moment because I see now so many like big streamers like you hold it like at the top. It's up there. It's because it was so like numbers wise. It was one of the first times like it was like really big numbers wise for content. Yeah. Right. Like just, posting COD videos. Obviously, if you weren't like Scump or something like that, it was <laughs> yeah. it was pretty hard to get views and like Modern for three and stuff like that because it just wasn't a thing. It wasn't a culture. But Black Ops three, man. I mean, I saw yeah. it take, that take. It was getting like million views, That's like videos. Kids. It was crazy. It was crazy, I man. Gave up on it early. That game had everything. Like it, the multiplayer was great. Zombies were phenomenal. It's competitive, crazy. competitive yeah. was competitive, insane yeah. for yeah. it. Yeah. You know the crazy thing about like Black Ops Three is like I still play it to this day on PC. It holds up better than mod modern like current day Call of Duty. Yeah, much. the it's graphics crazy. and the gameplay is like amazing. Truly, amazing. I don't know how much wow. you were into, but would you say after Black Ops Three, the SMD scene kind of died off? Yeah, man, it, it was like it was peak, bro. I mean, that's yeah. when Nick wow. was in it yeah. doing SMD tournaments, and yeah. I was, that's when I would like it's watch so competitive. Sam, watch all of them that. Sell UM, them. UMG, like the wagers, like I, I would hop on every day and play like a one dollar wager, but I would like play it like I'm playing for. Yeah. Hundred bands, uh, yeah. like, and the thing <laughs> is too, like, play, like it was so good for viewership as well. Like yeah. I loved watching that stuff. Everyone did. The community was like thriving. It was thriving, man. I, oh man, yeah. There was never, there hasn't been like a S and D scene like that since, yeah, since Bo three. But obviously, people have their opinions on COD. But like the community, I don't think. Like, do you think it's going anywhere? Like COD is such a staple game. They can be dropping games for 10, 20 more years. I think there'll always be a community around it. Do you agree? Yeah, hundred percent, bro. I mean. Like no matter, like, dude, Call of Duty was so bad. Like during this the Fortnite era, <laughs> it was so crazy. And to yeah. see it make a comeback, like when it came out with Warzone, it like it sparked. And then now it's just like speaking of Warzone, did you like Blackout when it was out? And do you think oh, Blackout was better just, than I Warzone? I just saw, I just saw people debating about this. I thought Blackout was if you compare it to Warzone, mm -hmm. it's 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 oh like it's like it's not good. It's, like a, uh, <laughs> it's not. You you can't Watch compare it to Warzone. You can't. It's not. If it's like you're comparing a standalone first Call of Duty Battle Royale, they they told me it took five months to make. So really? just based off of that, yeah, it was good for what it was, you know. But when you compare it to Warzone, bro, if you Different go in that game, three. go in that game and play, like, you die once, it's over. Bro, it's <laughs> over. Like, you can't come back. You have to sit for 20 minutes and watch your teammates and <laughs> make it to the end. So... I don't, I don't, you can't compare I it. I just know think. the debate is really hot. Cause it, I just I saw know, that. Yeah, I saw, like, I just I saw, it, yeah. As well as me on Twitter, they love saying like blackout, like the headshot noises or like whatever. Yeah. yeah. Just, that's just people trying to nitpick and just trying to like, if you really think about it, there's a reason why Warzone was as big as it was versus blackout, even though they're free to play. Like blackout wasn't free to play. No. But still, I just, Warzone's just so. So since you're like a Call of Duty creator and obviously you love like all the CODs, yep. um, if you weren't, playing Call of Duty right now, if it wasn't your concept, yeah. like your main choice, what's the game that has your heart that you would genuinely pursue and you're like, I can do this? Ah, man. That's tough because it's like, I truly enjoyed the two games I've ever loved in my life is Call of Duty and GTA. Mm -hmm. So I think GTA was something I would definitely explore content wise. Wow. It looks like, I mean, it's still booming. It's still booming. It's the number one vid game on Twitch. Just this, still, yeah. it's still, and it's probably like month. it's probably like second to Minecraft on YouTube. So it's still like insane. So I think if the Call of Duty was to ever like just say go away, yeah. I would tap into GTA because it just I don't know. I just that was the first game I truly loved as a kid. Have you tried the role plays yet? I haven't, bro. That's one yeah. thing I haven't done. I know, your roommate, right? Doesn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dante and all them, Jay and all them. <laughs> do that. Has he been trying to convince you? Like, come on, bro. Yeah, hop on but it, hop on but it. for me it was tough because I was dealing uh, World Series of Wars on the whole season was going on. So like mm -hmm. we were competing, and after the competition, I said I was going to do it, but. I don't even really. Are you excited for GTA 6 to come out though? Bro, I'm on it. Do you think it's taking like 
everyone's assuming it, it's going to shut down the scene. So. Like every streamer 100%. you see when you log on to the we'll platform. have to. GTA 6. Because, yeah, the numbers are going to go crazy. Be too cr- bro. I you're off a of COD for a little bit or are you going to be down? Nah, man. I guess I, I've always said this. If it, if I truly enjoy gaming and the numbers are crazy, I'm yeah. there. Like Everyone's I'm waiting for, for I'm, it. I'm permanently there, you know? Right. Because it's like, yeah, you could love a game. But like, let's say it doesn't do good numbers wise. Mm-hmm. It's as a creator, you're 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 wasting your time. Yeah, felt in a sense. that. Felt you're, that. You're wasting your time. You know, like a game you could you could truly yeah. love a game, but if you get no viewership on it, versus like I don't know. That's why I've always kind of stuck with COD because Fair. it it's tough to go to a different game. Like you can say like, man, I don't care about numbers, but in reality, we all do. Like yeah. it's yeah. just it, you just naturally do it. It's always know? in the back. It's of your always head. in the back of your head. So it's almost like you you still want to you know like. The next level of your career, hundred like, percent. I still am not at my peak yet, hundred percent. And that will not help you reach it. Exactly. Speaking of numbers, like COD obviously has been your biggest part. Like, when did you, like you really start blowing up in the COD community? Like, when was that? Um, I would say like when I got my big break was Black Ops Four. Black Ops Four. It was crazy because it was so weird. It was like um, Black Ops Four was just any Treyarch game. It's mm. just fire. Shout, like, shout out yeah. the Black Ops series. <laughs> <laughs> so good. People love Treyarch games, man. And yeah. like they love the camel grind. And yeah. like it was just like that's when like it just sparked. I remember, I remember like the first month I had did it, I had went from I forget how many views. I went from like less than a million views that month on YouTube to 10 million that next month. Like it was, um, a, it was an instant boom, and I was like, "Whoa, this is crazy." Was there a certain series or like, what do you think it was? And it should be off YouTube, right? Like that's yeah, yeah. where the traction was, rather than Twitch. Yeah, I didn't stream on Twitch until 2019. Like right before Warzone came out, was when I started streaming. Mm. But um, Bo4, yeah, it was just like making videos on classes, like just do, doing like the normal videos, yeah, yeah. but they just started going nuts. Yeah. That Plus, excitement, that yeah, feeling must yeah. have been different. Like something you genuinely love and you're putting your heart into. Oh, bro. are there to back uh, it up. Crazy. I was going to say, what, what did you break? Like what certain viewpoint on a video that you were like, oh my God, like I cannot believe this video hit this Bro, videos. I was doing like, I remember I did like this video where I like copy Scump's like sensitivity. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, it, and it got 850K, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know. Slap Scump yeah, in the so, title. So you can literally just do, you can literally just throw anything on the board and it was like yeah. it was all hitting so it was just cool That's man fine. i always tell the story but i have i don't think i've ever said this publicly but Ooh, yeah. I actually I, I might have said this one time on stream but i remember that's when my life changed mm-hmm. because I, I remember that month right before that month i had made like i made like 3k on youtube so i was like yeah. okay i'm i'm making as much as a full-time job but i'm making money doing what i love and at yeah. the time i was like 20 yeah. day, something like that the next month bro the next month <laughs> i made it 70k on YouTube. Oh my god! That- Felt like the man walking a little different oh. target. <laughs> Bro, it was just like <laughs> it, it. It changed everything. It went from like. Oh, this is serious. Yeah, that's like, a this beautiful is thing. real. Yeah. Like, it's real. Yeah. Life. I never. I don't think I've ever really shared that, bro. But like yeah. that was like it's inspirational. It's yeah, really bro. That's what I'm saying. So you're really always. One like game, one video, one like moment from it all changing. Hey, on that topic too, like that's an amazing thing, but. Talk about like the grind you had to put in before that because you've been oh, pumping bro. out YouTube. You deserve everything yeah. you've gotten and more, but you like put the work in too. And maybe like, and I, I love know. that I, people know that by the way. Like, yeah, every, to you, bro. everyone yeah, like, knows you've been putting the bro, work in. Bro, bro, I've been doing this for so long. And like, a lot of people always think like I got made by Warzone, but I always tell them, I said, bro, I had a million subs before Warzone even yeah. dropped. Yeah. But like, it started like in BO2 when I first started uploading. And by time, like, that talking point, let's say like, that Bo4 thing, I probably uploaded seventeen hundred videos, like mm-hmm. edited, edit, did edited myself and everything. Consistency. I edited all the way up until Warzone came out. We can cut this up if I'm wrong, but I have a faint memory when we first met him was Fort Worth, like it was at Fort the Worth. event. Yeah, CW and Fort I Worth. think you the mentioned library. that you, you were brought like your PC, your setup, everything to just like to do a video. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. the what, 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 definition. I'm trying to think of what video is it? It was during Bo4. We were with Pomage, us yeah, three. Bose. Bro, Bose yeah, my setup was there. My monitor, my monitor cracked in my suitcase. Oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> I don't know if you remember. Bro, my monitor completely like. I remember you were, little, you were upset about it. I had to use the TV they had <laughs> at the Airbnb. The but you made it work. Yeah, I think I still made a That's video. That's so funny to us. We were just like. It like, I don't We were all around the same area. Like, we just like yep. got the 100 Thieves thing. But then, like, on you, it was just like, wow, we just went from bad to now. The monitor yeah. crashed. It's crazy. <laughs> Bro, I have even a funnier story. So, there was a time that it was like that same kind of area. I think it was yeah. right after Forward. So, that was like in maybe like. So April, hung. March. Shout yeah. out the library. Yeah. Cool little yeah, yeah, vibe. Yeah. <laughs> and, the, and then I went to Italy um, that August, but there was a Black Ops 4 update. And they were, I remember they were dropping the M16. I know exact gun what it was, too. <laughs> and I was like, I cannot miss this. I brought my full setup to Italy, bro. We were, we were on Malfi Coast, and I remember the Wi-Fi was a one-up, one-down. 
Oh no! It took me two days. To, it, took, it took me two days to up to. Uh, I was first of all, I was lagging the whole game. So there were I would I, I cut it up to moments where I wasn't lagging. So it was, so it was two games I played, and they were like it was so skippy, but I chopped it up so like you couldn't really tell. Wow! Yeah, and then it took me t- two days to upload a video. You I just left my I, computer left there and just left it on. You remember what the ping was like? Like just ping crazy. Bro, I, no, I couldn't move. I couldn't. It was so bad. Think about it. There, you know, internet on the call. The, yeah. 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 Like, but the grind doesn't stop. They got, nah, they got, they got the the cafes, no, like the little internet cafe. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, with the full no, setup, no. With the setup, guys, I'm ready. On the coast, like that, like they're still like stuck in like the 1800s, bro. Like, <laughs> like they don't have anything over there. But just but. to piggyback everything off what you said, of obviously, of course, inspirational. Yep. But like anyone that's out there right now, they're on their 1600th video. Yep. They're trying to make it. What's the best advice that you would give them to really, Man. really try to like? push into the scene and yeah people always ask me this bro i think i think the biggest thing is just don't quit i I really just like it's really that simple because like i said we talked about you're really one moment away from it all changing and for me i went through every emotion as far as like having getting five views on my youtube video and begging my friends to watch it to get an extra couple views to having a hundred thousand viewers so i've i've experienced every high and low you and Um, i bought Huh? I was like, you and yeah, Nightbot, we've yeah. all been there. There's so many experiences. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you you, you and Nightbot. <laughs> <love that. laughs> it's like, it's like, it's just be like, me and Nightbot just showing tonight. Hey, back again. Yeah, man, I, I think I think it's just more so like, just don't quit and um, be able to adapt, man. Like if something's not working, switch it up and try something new. You know, I know that's very vague advice, but as really just a simple, just don't quit. That's the worst thing you can do. Do you think you had like a little bit of luck or do you think streamers need a little bit of luck or do you think, if you want it, if you chase it, if you get after it. Nah, definitely luck is like involved. Yeah, luck is involved yeah. for sure, man. And, you know, some people are more like blessed all, than others. We all had a little... So, yeah, some people, you know, blow up faster than others, right? Yeah. Like, for me, it took, it took like, six years to get, to get, like, get really get going. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I always say, if it took me six, why can't it take you four? Like, yeah. why can't it take you three years? I just you know? like what you said earlier with the, like, if you stay that's consistent, amazing. like, it's only, like, a matter of time. So some, like, video. Something. Something. TikTok. Whatever it is, just pops Especially out. with TikTok now, too. Man, like, it's yeah. it's so different. Like, for me, back then, it was all, like, long-form videos. Like, I had it, like, hit. But now, bro, like, you got shorts. You <laughs> yeah. got TikTok. Yeah. Like, there's so much. Um, If you really, like, do your research. I also, that's one thing people should do. Like, let's say you create content, yep. but you don't, you don't do your research. You don't see what's out there. What I always say content is 50% of what you want to make and 50% what people want to watch. You know, you can't, you can't make a video and be like, man, I love this. Like you have to think like, well, somebody else like who, who doesn't yeah, know me yeah. will like unbiased. this video. Yeah, unbiased. Balance. Yeah, perspective, man, that's it's fair. huge. That's fair. And just in general with like, what you're saying, like for everyone to keep going, keep going. Yeah. I'm like, do you see yourself ever like stopping or do you want to pursue content like for the rest of your life you're still very young to yeah, nah obviously. yeah I, I think like there's no blueprint right like yeah. there's nobody yeah. who i who we've looked at and said they've retired and they're done like yeah. everyone just keeps look at doc doc doc's 50 <laughs> doc's, fi- doc's, doc's 50 years old still streaming even though he only does it like two times a week but yeah. you know i think it's something that's uh you know if you if it makes you happy you're just like why not like why not keep are you, but are you already like thinking like i really like this i know that when i like you know like when you retire down the line like yeah, yeah. i really want to pursue this and make this like yeah like, w- w- do you have anything in mind that you like kind of are passionate about mm, nah man i I, I think i'll just figure that out as, as it goes man i yeah. think like with doc like he started create a game it's a good it's a good like no. he, you know he like gets to a point where he's like i, I gotta create a video game you know i'm not saying i'm gonna do that but i'm saying it's like an avenue of like a you'd want to uh, stay in the business yeah, yeah for sure for yeah. sure man i love video games i think that's why you're so successful too like you're tunneled in on this grind like there's a reason you're all the way at the Hey, you just got to keep going, man. I mean, I think a lot of people like, even when they do like, let's say, quote unquote, make it, they relax, man. They relax. Yeah. You can't relax, bro. Because there's there's, there's there's somebody else who's, yep. there's somebody else you don't even know who's in a room grinding, editing up That's till true. 4 a.m. Just you, as hungry. Trying to take your spot. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you got to continue like, you know, like you're, you're just starting. Yeah. Yeah, and you've been like, arguably like the top like Warzone creator, like honestly, since Warzone came out. Like yeah. what was it like when Warzone came out? Oh my god! Yeah, let's go back. Oh my Take god, yo, that was uh, it was crazy because I remember I I, can, I remember exact numbers too. I remember going live, so I used to get like a thousand viewers like going for nukes on M twenty nineteen. Yeah, good. It, so it was it was good, and then I and then Warzone came out. I remember I try I streamed like the update of it, and it was I got had four K viewers, and I was like, whoa, this is yeah. I said this is good, and then <laughs> but my YouTube video had got eight hundred K in a day. Yeah, and I said, whoa, I said I got I'm sw- so I decided right there I'm switching. Fully to Warzone. Yeah, I'm not doing like. MP anymore. And it just kept growing over time. And obviously, like, me and Nick had won a tournament. 
I joined Phase. So it, a lot of things compounded, but it was beautiful, man. It was, yeah. and also it was quarantine, bro. You could have yeah. did. Yeah. You yeah, we were all locked up. You you could have did anything content wise, and it would have banged. It was yeah. it was because everyone was at home. Yeah. That's the there, were, there were so many like casuals coming to the game who like weren't hardcore gamers, but they just love Warzone. Like it was yeah. crazy. That's the craziest thing for the gaming scene too. It's like during quarantine, it was tough on majority of people, but for the gaming world, oh it was God. a complete opposite. Like Fire. numbers were going up. People are home. Yeah. And you mentioned Nick, like, was he a really big, because he's obviously, like, got there a little earlier. Yeah, yeah. Was he, like, a big help in, like, getting to where you are, like, give you, like, some, like, a lot of advice? Yeah, he just gave me advice a lot, a lot of off-stream stuff, you know, yeah. how to how to conduct myself and, and as far as the streaming world, because I had just made YouTube videos up until then, so I wasn't really familiar on, you know, like, as far as, like, what it took to, to be a successful streamer for a long time, so I think he gave me, like, a blueprint for that and things like that. Huge influential as well. Y'all's duo streams were fire. I it was cool. It was great, man. It was great. You know, he, you know, he didn't really play COD too much anymore, but yeah. I, I mean, you know, it was, it was good while it lasted. You know, to completely segue, uh, you know, like your roommates and your, your best friends. Yep. I'm like, how, how did that come about? Like, were you already friends with them and then you blew up and you guys moved in together? Like, cause I know you, as far as I know, you flew, like you brought them into the group and yep. you're like, all right, we're doing this together. How, like, how did that happen? Yeah, man. I, I, um, as far as nuke squad, I met, I grew up with Jay. So we have been friends since 14 and, um, uh, with Dante, I had met their mutual friend, and then he brought Booyah on. So we all kind of just started playing, man. And it was it was funny because Warzone that came out was only trios. There's four of us. Mm -hmm. So like, we someone, all kind of go. Well, even even yeah. that, we all kind of just like went off and did our own things because it's awkward to like to like us three yeah. play and like, us three play. You don't play. Yeah. Like, us three play. You can't yeah. play. Like so. But then after a while, they came out with quads, and then we all linked up again and just started from there. Just right back Started to it. frying kids. Yeah. <laughs> what was your favorite Warzone meta from Warzone 1? Ah, oh, man. Um, favorite one was probably when Cold War, when they entered, when they combined uh, Cold War and then they had like the FFAR and yeah, it, uh, the MAC-10. Yeah, that, was, that was fun. It was so, yeah. so fun, man. I love them DMR. It the was, DMR I loved meta. it. I loved, <laughs> what what, what loved is it. your favorite gun of all time? Kilo. Like, kilo for sure. Kilo. Yeah. It was just, it was so good for so long. That's why I loved it. It just, it never changed. What color did it that? Uh, that was, that was in number 2019. Yeah, it was oh. Warzone 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I meant it was nice. Honestly. But we, we started talking about your roommates. Like, I don't know if you can say, like, air them out, but, like, who's the messiest in the house? Messiest, man. It's probably me, bro. Oh. <laughs> so, it takes so a lot to own up, though. <laughs> no, probably me. It's, it's more so, like, you know, I have clothes everywhere. Like, no, I, right. and I, 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 I hate picking up clothes. <laughs> and, and then you have, like, the food and, like, the water bottles everywhere. Yeah. So it's just, I am the messiest, I would say. Hey, it's streaming as much as you do and like as much as anyone like who's putting in hours and hours and 100%. hours into Twitch, it's hard to keep the room clean. For sure. Yeah. You know that. YouTube first gaming. Day. YouTube gaming. Yeah. Okay, bro. Oh, yeah. Uh, cool. But yeah, just speaking of, <laughs> speaking of friends, um, what's it called? We know that you're like obviously really good friends with Anthony Davis. Yeah. Like, yep. Oh, yes. And I don't know if the, you probably talked about it on your streams. Yeah. But like how did that even like begin? Like, like. Let's say you don't know him at all. Like, how did that start? Yeah, with AD, it was, it was crazy because we had just won a tournament. And then I saw he had, uh, somebody had gifted 100 subs. And I was like, whoa, who's that? Mm. It said Ant Davis 5, 6 something. Like, it was like, and I was like, Ant Davis. And then and then my mods told me, yo, that's actually Anthony Davis. And I'm like, what? I said, huh? Oh my God. <laughs> and so he, I didn't believe it was him. So he messaged me on Instagram and said, yo, it is me. Like, yo, good, like, good stuff on the tournament today. And then from there, we had just kicked it. Like, uh, I think it was that May. And then from there, we've just been good friends ever That's since. That's such a cool connection. Yeah. And and uh, obviously, to your best knowledge, I would, like just hanging out with a person like that in general, like you're doing really dope things. Like Yo. what's probably the coolest thing that you guys have done that like and you, he gave you an opportunity. Like, oh, bro, flying private. I've only when I first hung out on bro. He's you know he's the he's the coolest dude ever, man. Uh, and one thing about him, bro, is so crazy is that he. I remember we were we were on a plane, and he pulled up his Twitch. Mm. He follows so many streamers. Really? So he's about it, like bro. bro real game. He falls asleep watching, to, like watching streams. So Who's he cool. watch? The crazy thing is, bro. He'll watch people who have three viewers, four viewers. You would never know who they are, but they just yeah. like he falls like. In, it doesn't matter from the like biggest following to people who have two viewers. That's, that's crazy. And I, I was telling people, I said, I said, wow, you really never know who's watching. Yeah. That's, like, like it could real. be it could that's be you, real. Nightbot, and AD. <laughs> <laughs> and D five 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 talks in the chat like, "Good job!" And you're you like, would right. <laughs> "You would you would never know." One thing he always says: he every time he clicks his stream, he gets fifty subs. That's wow. Crazy. 
So yeah, that's, that's cool. how it goes. Yeah, 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 that's because yeah. like I don't think anyone like really knew about that. Like, nah, man. And I, I he never. Yeah, I mean, he's not gonna sit there and like. No, of say, course, yeah, of course. Yeah, but it was one with cool. Anthony Davis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, but it's a cool aspect that I saw him. And I was like, yeah, this guy, he's no, a good dude, man. This is for awesome for sure. I think a lot of I, I I don't think we realize how many like like top celebrities, top athletes, and they're just like oh, in bro. the gaming business, and we have no idea. Like Leonardo Di- DiCaprio could be like you hitting no- quad feeds. Okay, maybe. maybe yeah, you have no better. idea, bro. It's crazy. I think uh, it's it, it's insane how many like, especially during quarantine, man. All every single athlete played video games. Mm-hmm. So and then like, yeah, you just you literally never know who games. Uh, I think uh, Superman, Henry Cavill, he plays yeah, like he, League of Legends. Yeah, yeah. he plays like the he's league. a big. Uh, I remember League of Legends. That article. That's, that's hilarious. Like League of Legends of all games. I'm like, all right. I feel yeah. like a lot of like mainstream celebrities, like they look up to streamers, like, oh my god, like gamers are like the sickest people ever, which mm-hmm. is like wild to think. Yeah, getting played to play video games is, I mean, yeah. And as the years have been going job on ever. Too, yeah. <laughs> you mentioned Superman. What's your favorite movie of all time? Ooh. Just very random, but like of all time, you're like, this is it. That's a loaded question. That is, man. I everyone, want, everyone got one. I can't say favorite movie, but one I just recently watched that I remember like, yo, this is definitely one of my top, The Punisher. I remember seeing the original Punisher like in like 04, like it was just so like. You liked it? Yeah. Uh, what, what about y'all? What's your favorite movie? Hey, mine, Pursuit of Happiness, yeah, Will is, Smith. I know Will Smith has been in the media a, a lot a lately, one, but that movie is the only movie. I'm not trying to be all macho, man, but that, that cry, movie yeah. made me cr- yeah, watch bro. it with my family. That's a heart. It's tough. That's a hard it's tough, part, man. Mine is super basic, like extremely basic. It's The Dark Knight. I, mean, I feel like that's like everyone, like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people's like favorite movies, The Dark Knight, but like I genuinely, I think we rewatched that movie at least 30, 40 times. Yeah, yeah it's elite, man. What's your mind? I like, I like Shrek and Interstellar. One of the two. Those are two. One, <laughs> one of the two. Those are like so opposite. Like, <laughs> yeah, so like they're both great movies. <laughs> that's so <laughs> opposite. Kind of you're in. No, I got, I got a quick little segment I want to do. So obviously celebrity boxing is becoming really big. So I'm gonna Super. throw out some names. Let us know if you can beat them in a boxing match. Nick Merckx. I have no clue. No clue? I don't know, but for right back, we could definitely fight for sure. Okay. You got reach on him. <laughs> him. Yeah. Tap, man. Oh, I got Tim for sure. Got Tim unlocked? <laughs> Dude, you're pretty big. You got you got some size. I got but, Tim. I got yeah. Tim, no question. All right, um, Aiden. Aiden, who? Aiden, like Warzone Aiden. <laughs> Warzone Aiden? Oh yeah, yeah got him. Got him. Got him. Three and up. Joe Bo. Got him. Free? Okay. Got TP. Would that be a good one? I feel like, TP's T- I feel like TP's just like, yeah. you ever play basketball and you played against a kid like who's just like, ru- like you just hate having, you hate, you hate playing against him, but like you love having him on your team. Yeah. Like he just, yeah. that's what I feel like TP's just like hard nose, like just <laughs> tough. Like he wouldn't get knocked out. No, he is. I don't know. That's a, that's a tough one. And I've seen him in person. He's a big dude. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. He works out yeah. a he's lot. A, he's a, he's a dad. Now. They got the dad strength. You can't forget the dad strength. Yeah. All right. Last one. Skump. Ooh, that'd be a good one. He's pretty big, right? He used to be. Yeah. Used to be. BO2, BO2, he was yeah, a tank. Yeah. <laughs> now I think he's more on his like dad wave. Yeah. He got the belly now. So like <laughs> chilling, <laughs> he's chilling now. You said for the right, right, right bag, you would do it. Like, oh yeah. Put in months and who, months of training you leading up to the versus? fight. Oh, there's or who no do you one. think would be a fair fight? Who's I, in the scene? I have no idea, bro. I think it, I think it's just, honestly, like a lot of people talk about how like they don't like watching it. I love it. I love yeah. the celebrity. I love like, I, yeah. I think it's so dope to yeah. see like, because, but I like it when people respect the sport. So I like, I like, um, I like how Jake Paul and him put time in. Yep. Like you may not like him as a person, but you, I can respect them putting six the work. They are dedicating their last four years of life to mm-hmm. boxing to do it. You know, so and now Logan with like WWE and like they, bro. The one thing about those brothers, they're passionate. If about you're what they do. if you're a creator, how could you not like yeah. be like think like yo, that's dope. Like, like he's he's going to WWE. Like we used to watch that growing up, and he's just casually like. Vlogging, podcast, what, WWE. What you aspect, said, yeah, yeah, I, th- I said that aspect about being a creator, you can literally just do anything. Yeah, do like, whatever. You can that's, chase that's what whatever. I said. It's what he said earlier about being like versatile. Like he went from Vine to daily vlogging yeah. YouTubes to like <laughs> Bro, everything. And now own WWE. drink company Prime. Like, yeah, oh, like, yeah. like, what, like what? You ever think about starting your own brand? Like, of, like, I, th- like, I think I'd like, like, own like a product yeah, or something yeah. like that company. Yeah, what for sure. I, I don't know, bro. I, I couldn't tell you. I think that's one of those things where it's like, it just has to make sense, I feel like you know. You're really into fashion, like a, like a, like for sure, like like man. like I don't know, bro. Like as I'm really caught up in like as far as like the streaming and stuff like that. Yeah. And that's one thing about being a streamer, bro. It takes up so much time. Yep. It's that's so true. different than like than making videos. Streaming truly takes up so much time than being yep. a YouTuber. That's what I've learned for also, sure. Also, while we're on that topic, can you talk a little bit about like the mental aspect, or do you ever feel like you're missing out? 
spending so much time like dedicated to your craft like oh maybe I should yeah, like man, go do I, this go I did that. like I said I did videos for about four or five years so yeah. I, I, I edited my videos stuff like that but it does not take as much time as streaming streaming yeah. truly is a mental grind like and especially if you don't like the game mm -hmm. yeah. like if you're not enjoying the game that much but you want you can't just not stream it yeah. you can't just not stream sure you can go play another game right viewership, viewership that's what I'm saying back of your head so, always yeah so that's why it's, it's so challenging man it's yeah. so challenging you ever felt like the fatigue? Some like ever like where at a point you're like, man, like I'm really like. Bro, this whole last year, bro, the whole last year was it? Yeah. That was me. Warzone Two was so so bad. Yeah. But um, it's just one of those things where obviously not everything is gonna be fun all the time, man. Yeah. You know, and I thought in my head, I'm like, you know, there's people waking up in the morning who who absolutely hate their job and like going yeah. to it. So I and I get to wake up and play video games. So I have a sense of gratitude where I'm gonna get on here. You know, I, I have people who watch me. I'm gonna enjoy my time with them and just. Play the game. Obviously, you're blessed to do that, but I feel like sometimes people downplay like the mental aspect and the work that goes into it. People are like, "Oh, you play video games? It's so easy." Yeah, it's an amazing job. It's easy. Like, it's easy when you get to that point when yeah. it can be a full time job when you can fully be comfortable, right? Yeah. But like when to get to to get to get to that, Ryan. oh my god, it's like the one percent, bro. To do yeah. it full time and like truly, like, bro, it's it so breaks hard. a lot of people. Hey, oh my god, it's so hard. Was bro. uh was phase always the angle? <sighs> I, I I wouldn't say it was always the end goal. It was one of I think the the biggest inspiration of what I got from Phase was like like gaming with your boys in the same crib. That's the reason why I, yeah, I that's yeah. what I drew from the them. New York you know? vibes. Yeah, everyone, oh, the whole internet, everyone knows like, about we the New all York grew up. When I saw them, I always saw I, I never thought it wasn't the end goal because I never thought I could even get there. So I always in my head said I'm not gonna grind to try to get into it, like Phase or something like that. It's just more so I want to be the best creator I can be. But I want to do something like that. Yeah. I want to game with my boys in, in a team house and just make content together. Do you still, just a quick question, do you still love it like you used to? Like, obviously, it starts as fun and you kind of see where Yo. it goes. But now you're like at the top. Do you still have that same like fire, that passion? I think I think it's a little bit different as far as like, um, I love creating. Yeah. Like playing the video game, do I love it as much as when I was when I was 16? I wouldn't say I do. But I love creating. I love like having a community and, and ha sharing those Hype moments where I get a nuke or we win a tournament. Like yeah. that, those are those are the things I love. All right, one last question. Like, what are your thoughts about FaZe Clan being reacquired today by GameSquare? Ah man, I, I think uh I think it's definitely a uh a step in the right direction for sure. You know, um it's something obviously I, I'm in phase, so I obviously have known about that for a while. So um, but I just I wanna see where it goes, you know. Like I said, like I'm excited to see like you know, what the, what what we're able to do. You know, I, we I one thing about I always talk about especially the last few months or last, last like year inside of phase, I want, I want people to have that special feeling of when they do the tweet join phase. Yeah. I, you know, bro, you know how special that was to be yeah. able to do that. Like back then, Everyone even, when, even when I did it, I was like, Holy, I get to like, make, I get, <laughs> I get to make the tweet. Yeah. Join, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So I, I think I, more so I want us to get back to that feeling like that special moment. Yeah. Right. It's like joining a home, bro. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like right now, I feel like, orgs and specifically like that it's just almost like i feel like creators nowadays view it as like a like a payday but yeah. like with phase back then bro it was like joining like a, a fraternity yeah. bro yeah. like yeah. you know what i mean regardless so, of anyone's opinions on it everyone looks up to phase it's like yeah. the pinnacles bro the so I, I think that's what uh, we want to strive for and i think that's what we're definitely going to push for is just getting that magic back